making space. There is something magical about space and distance, a clearing of the canvas. My best thoughts, the ones that make the most difference in my life, are rarely the byproduct of thought. The aha moments, epiphanies, inspirational insights, they really rarely arise from thinking hard. They are instead a function of leaning back and finding flow and letting go. Paradoxically, that focus and flow is rarely shining in the direction of the problem I'm actually trying to solve or the epiphany or insight I'm hoping to glean. Space itself, a clearing, is, at least for me, where clarity calls home. Our lives, of course, are rarely spacious, especially today with the wild and weird and wonky world around us all. There is a great metaphor I learned years ago when I first started to practice meditation. A teacher, a yogi I once knew told me to imagine my mind was like a brand new blank TV screen, no power and no plug. It was clear, clean, beautiful and bright, peaceful and proud. You can stare at this new screen for a while and really intuit and feel its innate peace. This is really our true nature, he told me. Placid, powerful, wise, and yet underneath it all, when you turn on the TV, that canvas of clarity changes. There is motion and movement, conflict and commotion, and ultimately chaos. If you grab the remote and rapidly change the channels, that chaos and confusion obviously only increases. The pace picks up, the screen becomes a streaming sea of stuff. The clarity there a moment ago is but a memory. And yet underneath it all, nothing has changed. The screen isn't stained or sullied by the sea of shadow and light. It remains as it's always been, clear, bright, and beautiful. Just knowing it's there, always underneath it all, there is a clearing, so make space.